Hello everyone, this is Ibrahim and today I am bringing for you the skill breakdown of a mock that we just conducted earlier on. So today you will know that in IELTS ke test, you have not done any mistakes in the IELTS and which mistakes are such that you can reduce your score. Sakti hai. So without any further ado, we are going, going to move on towards the test uh, and we are going to have a look at some of the mistakes which this candidate has done here so that you can save the mistakes. Also, I will be uh, scoring him as well so that you know that when the IELTS examiner scores your speaking, score so, what are the factors that you have to do score your base? Without any further ado, let's get started. Hello, uh, my name is Ibrahim. I will be taking your IELTS speaking examination. Can I have your name? Hello, my name is Mohsin Amin, and you can call me Mohsin. Okay, where are you from? I'm from Islamabad, uh, but basically, I'm from Nashara. Okay. KPK. Yeah, perfect. So, uh, for the first part of the test, I'm just going to ask you some personal questions, okay? Okay. Oh, right. That's perfect. So, what can you tell me about your childhood? Uh, my childhood, uh, I spent a lot of my, um, as a teen, uh, in, my, in my childhood uh, in Pindi. Then I moved to uh, Islamabad uh, when I was 10 or 11, I guess. Uh, then I've been staying here up till now. Okay. Is there something about your childhood that you regret or you don't like? There is no as regret uh, as I know, but no, I don't think so. Okay, so when the examiner starts off with your test, they tend to start off with topics that are fairly simple. You have noticed that I asked him about his primary education or his school life. So this is a very simple topic, which is not a complex, very compounded topic. So when the examiner starts the test, he will start with topics start karega that is very familiar to you and on which you can easily speak. But then again, we have some other examiners that are really, um, I would say, in Urdu, we call them very khadus. Kism ke. You know, the examiners that really want to give you a tough time. इस तरह के भी एग्जामिनर्स होते हैं जो आपको पहले क्वेश्चन पे ही फंसाने की कोशिश करते हैं तो मेक श्योर दैट यू आर रियली प्रिपेयर्ड फॉर सच एग्जामिनर्स लेट्स सी हाउ दिस कैंडिडेट फर्दर कोप्स विद द क्वेश्चंस दैट आई एम गोइंग टू पोज टू हिम लेट्स सी ओके सो इफ देयर वुड बी एनीथिंग इफ रादर इफ देयर वाज एनीथिंग इन योर चाइल्डहुड दैट यू वुड वांट टू रिमूव एज ऑफ नाउ व्हाट वुड इट बी there is no such thing I would like to remove. My childhood was pretty good, but uh, I didn't spend a lot of time with my father I as he was in abroad. So if I could have changed that, then I would have. Okay, uh, there is something interesting that we need to note over here. You know, one interesting thing is that the candidate is speaking a little slow. A lot of people are under this impression that when we talk about fluency in IELTS, it means that you have to speak a lot of fast and if you speak a little fast, you will not have your score. That is absolutely not the case. When you are speaking in an IELTS examination, your speed should be like that. That has to be you know, just such that the examiner can easily understand you. If the examiner is understanding your speech, your speed is absolutely okay. Now you will notice that throughout the test, this particular candidate, they will not be speaking really fast. They will take their time, ahista ahista bolenge, which is actually a good idea. Why is it a good idea? Iske piche reason ye hai ke aap jab test mein hai, to you have to think about your answers before speaking. Is mein aap notice bhi karenge, aage ek aur bhi cheez aayegi, that he will be using some audible pauses like mm and ah. So a lot of people think that that also reduces your score. That is not the case either. जो हमारे फिलर्स होते हैं वो हमारे फ्लुएंसी का स्कोर कम करवाते हैं नॉट ऑडिबल पॉजेस ऑडिबल पॉजेस के दो रीजंस होते हैं बेसिकली पहला रीजन ये है कि या तो आप वोकैबुलरी ढूंढ रहे हैं जो इस कैंडिडेट के केस में जो है पर्टिकुलर रीजन आपके पास वोकैबुलरी नहीं है इतनी आप सर्च कर रहे हैं कि आप कौन सा वर्ड यूज करेंगे जो ज्यादा अप्रोप्रिएट हो दैट इज द फर्स्ट केस द सेकंड केस इज दैट यू आर सर्चिंग फॉर आइडियाज जब आप ज़्यादा टाइम ले रहे हैं बीच में तो द एग्जामिनर विल इजीली फाइंड आउट कि आपके पास आइडियाज नहीं हैं एंड यू आर शॉर्ट ऑफ आइडियाज तो इन दैट केस यू विल लूज स्कोर फॉर फ्लुएंसी डेफिनेटली अदरवाइज आपका स्कोर किसी सूरत फ्लुएंसी के लिए कम नहीं होगा लेट्स कंटिन्यू ओके ओके वट कैन यू टेल मी अबाउट योर कॉलेज लाइफ माई कॉलेज वॉज इन इस्लामाबाद आई ए थ्री इट वॉज नॉट फॉर फ्रॉम माई होम द बस को टेक द बस the bus would take me from school and co uh, from home to uh, college and then uh, it, I had a, some, my, I had the best uh, time of uh, 
my life i i can say in my college that one and yes okay let's stop over here once again we can see ke jo mai earlier when i was talking about this as well uh, that this particular candidate they are struggling to find the right words so you see when i was going through this mock i was actually making notes as well so because we do that as examiners uh, in the british council they do this as well they note down your mistakes and they try to score you on the basis of them so when i wrote a note for this the particular thing that i wrote is that it can be seen that the candidate seems to be struggling in order to translate their ideas into words and you as viewers must be seeing this as well ki yahan pe jo candidate hain hamare bahut zyada time le rahe hain aur bahut zyada kai dafa apne words ko jumble bhi kar rahe hain iska ek maqsad ye bhi ho sakta hai ki unke paas ya to ideas nahi hain ya fir unke paas words nahi hain now that can only be determined once we listen to the next answers ki next wo kya bol rahe hain one more thing to remember is ki jab aapke paas word bank nahi hai जब आप एग्जामिनर को लग रहे हैं कि आपके पास वर्ड बैंक इतना नहीं है कि आप अपने आइडियाज़ को ट्रांसलेट करें तो दैट वुड डेफिनेटली कंट्रीब्यूट टू वर्ड्स योर लेक्सिकल रिसोर्स लेक्सिकल रिसोर्स इज़ वन ऑफ द यू नो फोर क्राइटेरियाज दैट द एग्जामिनर्स एट द ब्रिटिश काउंसिल और वेर एवर यू आर गोइंग फॉर योर स्पीकिंग टेस्ट दे यूज दैम इन ऑर्डर टू एवेल्यूएट योर स्पीकिंग तो लेक्सिकल रिसोर्स इज द थर्ड क्राइटेरिया एंड इट इज़ वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट क्राइटेरियाज इसमें आप जितने वर्ड्स रिपीट कर रहे हैं जितने आप वर्ड्स बार बार यूज़ कर रहे हैं आप मिस यूज़ कर रहे हैं वर्ड्स को मीनिंग और बनता था आपने और मीनिंग दिए ऑल ऑफ दैट ये सब कुछ आपके लेक्सिकल रिसोर्स पे असरअंदाज होता है लेट्स कंटिन्यू व्हाट वाज योर फेवरेट सब्जेक्ट एट कॉलेज माय फेवरेट सब्जेक्ट वाज मैथमेटिक्स एंड इंग्लिश ओके इज देयर एनी पर्टिकुलर रीजन फॉर दैट नो देयर इज नो पर्टिकुलर रीजन फॉर दैट आई एक्सेल्ड इन दोस पर्टिकुलर फील्ड्स एंड नाउ आई वाज मूविंग ऑन to my professional life and my career i chose electrical engineering uh, for my career because i was good in mathematics and as well as in physics so would you suggest your college to anyone who is planning to take an admission in the college yes i would love to tell them all about my college it is uh, one of the best college in is in, in our <coughs> in our city as well they have got the best professors uh, very educated one and good discipline there and all and that okay so what is your favorite item of clothing my favorite item of clothing would be uh, shalwar kameez the, the national dress of pakistan so, uh, i i find it very um, uh, i i think it is uh, person to person uh, but uh, for my i think it suits me well the shalwar kameez it suits, suits me well and Once again, we we can see this quite clearly. Um, uh, it suits me. Uh, I think it's uh, you know he's thinking and thinking and thinking, trying to grab some words, trying to grab some words. Now one of the reason is that I was trying to push him in all possible directions. मैं कोशिश ये कर रहा था कि ज़्यादा से ज़्यादा मैं इनको तंग करूँ in this mock test. Basically, the purpose of recording this mock test once again was to tell the audience. कि एग्जामिनर जब आपसे टेस्ट ले रहा है तो आपसे वो अलग अलग तरह के क्वेश्चंस करेगा आपको फंसाने की कोशिश करेगा ऑब्वियसली एंड इन दैट वे दे वुड कॉम्प्लिकेट थिंग्स समटाइम्स इन क्वेश्चन समटाइम्स दे विल इंटरप्ट यू वाइल यू आर स्पीकिंग देन देर में भी डिफरेंट पॉसिबिलिटीज तो इस चीज़ के बारे में आपने परेशान नहीं होना द एग्जामिनर ओनली डज दिस वंस दे अंडरस्टैंड दैट यू आर गुड एट स्पीकिंग अगर आप अच्छा बोल रहे हैं तो एग्जामिनर थोड़ा सा आपको तंग करेगा मोस्टली इन द थर्ड पार्ट हम उसके ऊपर जब जाएंगे सो विल हैव अ मोर डिटेल डिस्कशन ऑन दैट बट अदरवाइज इन द फर्स्ट पार्ट एज वेल बट दिस पर्टिकुलर कैंडिडेट अगर से मैंने इनको अभी इतना आई हैव नॉट यू नो आस्ट इन एनी सच कॉम्प्लेक्स क्वेश्चन बट द प्रॉब्लम इज दैट ही इज स्टिल लैकिंग इन वोकेबुलरी तो वोकेबुलरी जो है इनकी लेक्सिकल रिसोर्स को मजीद कम से कम दर कर रही है लेट्स ही हाउ ही डज इन द नेक्स्ट पार्ट सो डू यू लाइक टू वेयर डार्क कलर्स और डू यू लाइक टू वेयर lighter colors or brighter colors i love to wear dark color uh, i think that suits me good and i look good in them that's why okay so do you think that the color you wear affects your mood mm <laughs> not not that i have seen that but uh, no i don't think so the colors uh, would change my uh, would change my mood or something like that it's <laughs> Uh, doesn't depend on that actually hmm. how often do you use social media i use social media or often you can say i use uh, social media uh, pages follow them i use instagram most yeah i find it good okay now it is extremely important to note over here 
uh, that the examiner of course asks you questions from a range of different topics. इसका मकसद जो है बुनियादी तौर पे वो ये है कि अगर किसी कैंडिडेट ने कोई फॉर uh, एग्जांपल कोई फ्रेजेस कोई क्लॉजेस कोई स्ट्रक्चर्स ऐसे हैं जो उन्होंने रट्टा लगाए हुए यू नो लाइक वी से इन उर्दू लैंग्वेज एज वेल यू नो एनी फ्रेजेस दैट यू हैव क्रैम्ड दे बेसिकली वॉन्ट टू गेट रिड ऑफ दैट एंड हाउ डू दे डू दैट दे कीप ऑन चेंजिंग द टॉपिक दैट्स वाई इट्स कॉल्ड डिस्कर्सिव डिस्कर्सिव इज समथिंग जिसका आपका टॉपिक चेंज होता रहे बार बार द टॉपिक ऑफ डिस्कशन और द टॉपिक ऑफ द टॉक कीप्स ऑन चेंजिंग विद time that is basically what the examiner does over here and he wants to see some topic specific vocabulary from you now what is topic specific vocabulary aksar logo ko lagta hai jis tarah hum aksar indians ki agar hum dekhe videos ielts ke upar to uh, learn these three words that can help you pass the ielts test learn these five words that can help you pass the ielts test that is not the case ab har word aapka har situation mein use nahi hota whenever i teach my students i always tell them के दो वर्ड्स हैं कूल एंड कोल्ड उनका डिक्शनरी मीनिंग इट इज एग्जैक्टली द सेम बट व्हेन वी यूज दम इन द कॉन्टेक्स्ट उनका मीनिंग चेंज हो जाता है एंड आई ऑलवेज गिव दम द एग्जांपल ऑफ अ कूल बॉय एंड अ कोल्ड बॉय ठीक है मतलब डिक्शनरी में तो मतलब सेम है बट व्हेन दे यूज इट इन कम्युनिकेशन द मीनिंग एक्चुअली चेंजेस विद द कॉन्टेक्सट तो यहाँ पर यही होता है कि आपको टॉपिक स्पेसिफिक वोकेबलरी यूज करने की जरूरत है आपने कोई बहुत ज़्यादा यू डोंट हैव टू रिमेंबर सम ग्रैंड वर्ड्स जो आप हर उसमें यूज कर रहे हो दैट वुड that is actually something that reduces your score for speaking if the examiner finds out that you have only crammed two or three good words aapne exuberance yaad kar liya aapne um uh, aur koi word plethora aapne yaad kar liya and you keep on using them over and over again so that actually leaves a negative impact on the mind of the examiner so i strictly give this advice to my students and i suggest you uh, all of the viewers as well that do not do this in your speaking exam that will only lead to a negative score in your lexical resource let us continue now okay so what is your favorite social media app then my favorite social media application would be instagram and facebook um the reason is because uh, Uh, I find it mm, you can get a lot of things and uh, and actually whatever you want what whatever you want to watch or uh, news feed and videos and everything in a, in your uh, free time Acha ji yahan pe abhi humne ek aur bhi cheez dekhni hai ke earlier on um, but what the pauses he was taking it was basically affecting his lexical resources now the pauses he's taking it is affecting his fluency as well why because it is quite evident from the answer that he gave right now he was taking a lot of pauses to unki fluency ke upar us cheez ka bahut asar pad raha hai main ye nahi keh raha ki iski wajah se inka score bahut zyada koi kam ho jayega that's not the case okay the examiner knows that you're not a native speaker of english so it's it's going to be definitely it's going to be the case that you would be stopping at times and at times you won't have uh, sufficient vocabulary uh, even we are language instructors over here so at at times it happens with us as well and at times it happens to the native speakers as well so it's completely okay the examiner may overlook it even uh, on a couple of occasions jis tarah aapki kuch basic grammatical mistakes hoti hain to examiner kai dafa usko overlook kar deta hai it's not a big deal at times but when you repeat those mistakes over and over again to uski wajah se aapka score kam hota hai now if he keeps on doing this over and over again in the next questions as well that would significantly reduce his score for fluency as well let's see if he does these mistakes again or if he reconciles okay so if you had the option um, to delete any social media application from the world which one would it be um uh, i would go with uh, the social media that i don't really like is uh, tiktok i don't find it very good I just think it's. I find it. I don't like it. Some people may, uh, maybe against, maybe against me in that. But I don't find it good. I don't like it. Okay. Thank you so much. That is the end of the first part of the test. Once again, um, this candidate he keeps on repeating the word "good" over and over again. Now that is a really big problem. because whenever um, you know i don't find it he could have said i don't find it useful i don't find it worth it i don't find it worthwhile you have you have a lot of different vocabulary items that can be used instead of good but he is insistent and he is continuously using the word good only and only that further depletes his score for lexical resource agar aap bar bar ek hi word ko repeat kar rahe hain to that would significantly reduce your score for lexical resource aur aapne aisa nahi karna 
आप कुछ सिनेम्स आपको आने चाहिए वर्ड्स के और देन अगेन वो टॉपिक स्पेसिफिक वोकेबुलरी होनी चाहिए जो आप यूज़ कर सके ईजिली और आपका मीनिंग ना ख़राब होता हो उससे ओके लेट सी हाउ ई डज इन द नेक्स्ट पार्ट नाउ वी गोइंग टू मूव ऑन टू द सेकेंड पार्ट इन द सेकेंड पार्ट ऑफ द टेस्ट आई विल बी शोइंग यू अ क्यू कार्ड यू हैव वन मिनट टू लुक एट दैट क्यू कार्ड एंड आफ्टर दैट यू विल बी स्पीकिंग ऑन इट फॉर अप टू टू मिनट्स ओके ओके सो दिस इज योर क्यू कार्ड You have one minute to look at it. You can write down anything you want as well. After one minute, you'll start speaking. Okay, your time is up. Are you ready to speak? Yes, sir. Okay. My favorite teacher from school, college life, or universities. I've been uh, been to all of them. My favorite teacher of all time would be Dr. Ramiz Nak Nakui. Uh, he was our university professor, and uh, he 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 was the. I, I think he uh, he was the best teacher we ever got, and uh, um, he taught us the digital system design course and also the computer architecture course. He was also the external and you can say the co-supervisor of my final year project team. Uh, also, uh, I learned I learned the computer architecture and many many uh, basics, everything electrical engineering. Uh, things from him, and uh, the thing I liked about him was that he was punctual, and he was different from other professors that we've got. Uh, he doesn't just uh, read out the presentation or um, from the book. Uh, he he focused on person to person and every student. And uh, what? Okay, uh, let me stop you there. Okay, notice one thing. I barely let him speak for about a minute and 20 seconds I think maximum so the examiner has the prerogative and they have the absolute authority to to you know stop you while you are speaking after 1 minute yani 1 minute ke baad examiner aapko rok sakta hai bolte hue now it is up to the examiner whether he asks you questions related to the cue card or he moves directly to the discussion part it is up to the examiner definitely acha ab aksar students pareshan ho jate hain they uh, they call us and they say sir uh, or ma'am um, during the exam the examiner stopped us during the cue card 1 minute ke baad hame bolne se mana kar diya so is that a bad thing no it's not necessarily a bad thing that could mean that the examiner wants to ask you questions related to the cue card he wants to test your analytical side a little more yani wo ye dekhna cha rahe aap apne dimag kitna zyada use kar rahe hain aap wo past ki memories bata rahe hain aap uske upar ek discursive discussion bhi kar sakte hain ki nahi that is one of the things the examiner wants to see over here to agar examiner aapko rok bhi deta hai yahan pe to it doesn't really matter aap you continue and don't don't lose it over here aapne yahan pe pareshan nahi hona so if the examiner you know even does this to you it's completely okay aur maine bhi yahan pe inke sath yahi kiya hai and i told him that it's not a big deal the only reason why i did that is to confuse or to perplex him a little because as i told you earlier on as well the examiner will try to push you in every possible direction okay some examiners they really sweet jis tarah humne shuru pe baat ki hai ki kuch examiner hote hain jo aapko bahut zyada sweet kisam ke hote hain bahut zyada support karte kuch examiners aapko bahut zyada push karte hain हमारा जो यहाँ पे मकसद है आपको ट्रेन करने का वो ये है कि आप जिस भी तरह के एग्जामिनर के सामने जा के बैठ जाएं आप इजीली उनको टैकल कर सके हैं यू डोंट गेट कंफ्यूज इन फ्रंट ऑफ एनी सिंगल एग्जामिनर वेदर वट एवर टेम्परमेंट दे हैव मूड में उनका मूड अच्छा नहीं है जो भी है वट एवर इट इज़ बिकॉज समाइम्स दैर हैपन्स एज वेल तो आप स्टिल यू आर एबल टू गिव प्रॉपर आंसर्स टू दैट एग्जामिनर यहाँ पे आपकी ऐसी प्रेपरेशन हम करने की कोशिश कर रहे हैं लेट्स सी वट सॉर्ट ऑफ क्वेश्चन आई आस्क यू मोवर हेयर अकॉर्डिंग टू यू वट मेक्स अ टीचर गुड आई थिंक हिज वे ऑफ टीचिंग हिज इंटेलेक्चुअल एबिलिटीज एंड हिज कन्वेंग पावर मेक्स हिम अ गुड टीचर ओके सो अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट डू यू थिंक दैट हैविंग अ ह्यूमरस पर्सनैलिटी इन द क्लास डू यू थिंक दैट interacting with the students on a personal level uh, is that a characteristic of a good teacher or do you think that it shouldn't be there it should be there but not uh, on on some level not too much or not not too uh, not too much i would say um, it should be uh, just to humor them just to just to like uh, uh, just to uh, give some pause in the class you can add humor in it but uh, you don't have to just uh, humor yourself for 
for okay. all time. Okay, thank you so much. We're ending the second part over here. Okay. Um, now we're going to move swiftly towards the third part of the test. In the third part of the test, I will be asking you some detailed descriptive questions, okay? okay. So you have to justify your answers as well. It's not just going all to right. be answering. Okay? All right. All right. Okay, perfect. Uh, do you think that in your country, you have enough structured education or do you think there are there is still a need for improvement or for improvisation in your structured education? There is a lot of structural education, there is a lot of uh, uh, structural education required for all for the management and for the students as well. Uh, I think we are way mm -hmm. behind in the other countries um, like India and uh, America. What do you see as the main flaw in your education uh, institutions? Okay. Now, before moving towards the answer of uh, this candidate to this particular question, I want you to notice that I have actually interrupted him and I have done this a couple of times before as well. What could be the possible reason behind this? Aksar students are asking us, sir, um, we were in the third part, in the discussion part, you say that there are long answers in discussion, you have to give detailed answers, so what happened? Why did we stop it every two minutes and we, they didn't let us complete the answers and all sorts of questions and queries related to that. That is nothing to be worried about. As I told you in the third part, if the examiner has judged you in the first and second part already, your speaking and your speaking is really good. So in the third part, the examiner will definitely try to push you a little out of your comfort zone. Which I am doing here with them. I am interrupting him every now and then just to make him a little uncomfortable. I want to expose him to this that basically this is different scenarios in different situations where people are interrupted, where people are not allowed to talk to their fullest. What do I have to do in that situation basically? That is what I am trying to test over here. So it's not a bad thing if the examiner stops you in the discussion part and doesn't let you comp complete your answer. Uh, we had a student uh, recently and they were telling us that, sir, when I was in the examination, uh, the test taker kept on interrupting me in the third part, he used to ask me a question. And as soon as I started answering the question, he would move on to another question. So that is just to confuse the test taker. There is no big deal in that. The examiner is just trying to confuse you a little. It's not that you're giving wrong answers. It's not that your answers are not good. That's why they have skipped you. That is not the case. The only uh, thing over here is the examiner is trying to test you through different scenarios and situations. Let's move on towards the video. I think the management uh, is just uh, stuck between the 90s and the 200s uh, and uh, tw uh, sorry uh, the 20th century and they're not moving uh, ahead. So what do you suggest for that? I suggest they introduce new courses like uh, nowadays artificial intelligence is booming but uh, there's no there's no major there's no uh, course um, anywhere in, uh, in you cannot find it in any university mm, you can find it in one or two university but uh, there's no um, proper management okay now there is something that we have to see over here the thing that we have to see over here is that um, the student or this particular candidate over here uh, you have to notice this that he is making subtle grammatical mistakes. Yani choti choti grammatical mistakes, tense ki ye kar rahe hai jaga jaga pe that I have not paused to highlight because that would taken that would have taken a lot of time. ठीक है हम चाह रहे हैं कि इसको थोड़ा सा कंडेंस करके आपको इजीली एक अच्छी वीडियो मिल जाए ताकि ओके सो बेसिकली यहां पे ये काफी दफा इन्होंने टेंस की मिस्टेक्स की हैं काफी दफा प्रोनाउन की मिस्टेक्स कर गए हैं काफी दफा हेल्पिंग वर्ब की जैसे वो क्यू कार्ड में बात कर रहे थे ही डजंट ओपन द स्लाइड्स ही वाज सपोज्ड टू टॉक अबाउट द पास्ट एंड ऑल ऑफ दैट तो ये मिस्टेक्स ये कर रहे हैं दीस आर सटल ग्रामेटिकल मिस्टेक्स अब सोचने की बात ये है कि विल दीस मिस्टेक्स हर्ट हिम इन द टेस्ट सॉरी Will these mistakes hurt him in the test? Now this is something that we have to look at. Look, if you have a mistake bar bar doharate, your score definitely come hota hai. If we look at the bands, uh, band descriptors provided by the British Council for Speaking, that in band 9, the speaker makes very rare or minimal uh, grammatical mistakes. ठीक है इसका मतलब यह है कि जो बैंड 9 स्पीकर है वो भी ग्रामेटिकल मिस्टेक्स करता है इवन व्हाइल वी आर स्पीकिंग और इवन व्हाइल द नेटिव स्पीकर्स आर स्पीकिंग देमसेल्व्स दे डू मेक सटल ग्रामेटिकल मिस्टेक्स इट इज नथिंग टू बी वरीड अबाउट दैट्स व्हाई आई ऑलवेज टेल माय स्टूडेंट्स दैट यू आर नॉट नेटिव स्पीकर्स ऑफ इंग्लिश और अगर आपसे गलती हो जाती है तो डोंट फ्रेट जस्ट कैरी ऑन स्पीकिंग 
let us continue with the video and see how this student does next do you find corporal punishment uh, as an effective way to enhance the performance of students corporal punishment what is it okay now see over here that this candidate does not know the meaning of corporal punishment inko nahi pata ki corporal punishment ka kya matlab hai now is this a bad thing that he is asked the examiner ki bhai corporal punishment kya cheez hoti hai i don't know of him uh, of it please do tell me no not necessarily uh, i tell the students that it is a really bad idea that if you haven't understood something and you don't ask the examiner agar aapko koi cheez samajh nahi aayi to examiner se aap bole ki repeat kar de एग्जामिनर से बोलें कि वो इलेबोरेट कर दे थोड़ा सा क्लियर कर दे स्टूडेंट्स जो हैं वो डरते रहते हैं एंड बिकॉज ऑफ दैट दे ऑफन गिव द रॉन्ग आंसर्स इट इज़ बेटर टू आस्क द एग्जामिनर टू क्लैरिफाई देन टू गिव अ रॉन्ग आंसर गलत आंसर आपने नहीं देना आप एग्जामिनर से पूछ दें वट वर यू ट्राइंग टू से आई कुड नॉट क्वाइट कैच दैट कुड यू प्लीज़ रिपीट दैट कुड यू प्लीज़ क्लैरिफाई दैट आप कर सकते हैं ऐसे ओके इट विल अफेक्ट योर स्कोर जस्ट अ टीन सी वीन सी रिटल बिट इतना ज़्यादा इफेक्ट नहीं करेगा लेकिन आप जब इरेलीवेंट आंसर देंगे तो आपका फ्लुएंसी एंड कोहेरेंस वुड बी कम्प्लीटली रूएंट सो अवॉइड डूइंग दैट लेट अस कंटिन्यू यस इट मींस डू यू फाइंड दैट बीटिंग स्टूडेंट्स पनिशिंग देम फिजिकली डू यू फाइंड दैट एज एन इफेक्टिव वे नो 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 आई डोंट थिंक इट इज नेसेसरी फॉर एनी ऑफ आई डोंट आई डोंट नो आई डोंट आई डोंट थिंक दिस शुड बी नेसेसरी बिकॉज पर्सन हैज is person has his own skills and abilities do you think that do you think that we uh, personally or we um, on a social level we are over indulged in social media usage yes we have indulged we are spending uh, most of the time in our mobile phones and social media as well and it's uh, not affecting it's also affecting our life and it's uh, we are um, that's why we are struggling i think okay so what are some of the main defects that have uh, that we have succumbed to um, you know due to the social media according to you defects uh, i would say um, because we spend too much time on social media we uh, haven't sp uh, we most of the teenagers and most of the adults as well don't get to uh, don't spend their time with their families as well and they don't focus on the career on their career on their life uh, as well because they are too indulged in the social media and they are not getting any of it uh, they are not getting any output from it they're just wasting their time do you think social media has more advantages or disadvantages i think it has more advantages than disadvantages but it uh, varies from for, to a person uh, how how he uses it okay सो नोटिस ओवर हेयर एंड आई एम सींग नोटिस वे टू मैनी टाइम्स टूडे मेरे लेक्सिकल रिसोर्स कमजोर हो रहे हैं या सो द कैंडिडेट हैज़ डन एक्सेप्शनली वेल इन ऑर्डर टू आंसर ऑल ऑफ द क्वेश्चन मैंने आई हैव पुट इम थ्रू अ सीरीज ऑफ परप्लेक्सिंग क्वेश्चन मैं उनसे बहुत अलग अलग तरह के क्वेश्चन पूछ रहा हूँ मैं उनसे टॉपिक चेंज कर रहा हूँ बार बार आई एम ट्राइंग टू कैच एम आउट मैं उनको इंटरप्ट करने की कोशिश कर रहा हूँ बट नोटिस दैट दिस दिस पर्टिकुलर कैंडिडेट हैज़ क्लियर आइडियाज आइडियाज़ की क्लैरिटी उनको बहुत अच्छी है ठीक है वोकेबलरी में कहीं कहीं फंस जाते हैं वो दैट्स 100% परसेंट ट्रू एंड फॉर दैट ही विल गेट अ लो स्कोर इन लेक्सिकल रिसोर्स बट हिज आइडियाज़ दे आर रियली रियली क्लियर ही नोज वट इज सेंग दैट इज़ द फर्स्ट थिंग दैट यू नीड टू डू वेन यू आर स्पीकिंग बिकॉज दैट गेट्स यू अ स्कोर फॉर प्रोनाउंसिएशन एज वेल एज फ्लुएंसी आपको पता है कि आप क्या बोल रहे हैं द स्पीकर और द टेस्ट टेकर नोज एवरी सिंगल सिलेबल ऑफ वट दे आर सेंग एंड नॉट इवन जस्ट द सिलेबल्स एवरी सिंगल स्पीच साउंड दैट दे अटर दे आर अवेयर ऑफ इट सो दिस पर्टिकुलर पर्सन इज अवेयर ऑफ दैट येस दे आर मेकिंग सम लेक्सिकल मिस्टेक्स येस दे आर मेकिंग सम सटल ग्रामेटिकल मिस्टेक्स बट इज दैट गोइंग टू रियली अफेक्ट देयर प्रोनाउंसिएशन दैट मच नो नॉट रेयरी देयर प्रोनाउंसिएशन इज वेरी अफेक्टेड बाई द वे दे प्रोनाउंस डिफरेंट वर्ड्स सो इनकी प्रोनाउंसिएशन बहुत अच्छी जा रही है फ्लुएंसी काफ़ी अच्छी जा रही है इफ़ ही वुडेंट हैव मेड ऑल ऑफ दोज मिस्टेक्स एट द स्टार्ट इनकी फ्लुएंसी भी काफ़ी अच्छी थी द ओनली फैक्टर वेयर ही इज़ कंसिडरेबली लैकिंग इज द लेक्सिकल रिसोर्स पार्ट दैट ही नीड सम वर्क ऑन दैट अस कंटिन्यू ओके सो कुछ यू फर्दर एक्सप्लेन और एलेबरेट दैट इफ अ पर्सन इज यूजिंग सोशल मीडिया फॉर हिज ओन गुड एंड ही इज़ यूजिंग फॉर हिज टू इंक्रीज हिज नॉलेज एंड हिज स्किल्स इफ ही इज लर्निंग समथिंग इफ ही इज़ इफ ही इज़ यूजिंग सोशल मीडिया एज अ सोर्स ऑफ नॉलेज and then he has many advantages he can move ahead he can uh, 
find his ways but if he's using for just time pass and uh, not using it well that depends on a person if how how he uses the social media what are some of the most effective uses of social media according to you most effective uses of social media i would say is the learning obviously the uh, education as well because we um, <coughs> it is a good platform and it is a good resource for students as well uh, to get uh, to their professional career and uh, yes they can education is the most if you important. had a chance right now to give a message to the world or to the youngsters in the world who are over indulgent in the social media what message would it be okay you know this is the final question that i have asked this candidate okay so um you must notice ke on a number of different occasions i have asked him a number of different types of questions in ke jo gra grammatical range and accuracy gra that is basically there to test how the ex- how the test taker copes with different range of questions abhi end pe maine inko question pooch liya ke how would you respond how would you deliver a message to the people who are looking at you right now who are watching you about the social media now let us see what sort of tone this person uses and i'm sure i have taken his mock so i am sure that he is going to use a correct tone so you have to be aware of the appropriate to- tone that you should be using in up in different um, you know scenarios in different question types you have to use different types of tones different types of vocabularies that is basically what we are trying to do from the very start of the test main yahi koshish kar raha hu ki main inka check karu ki kaun si jagah pe kya vocabulary use kar rahe hain grammatical structure kaun sa use kiya acha use kiya hai normal use kiya hai bura use kiya hai we are trying to grade the test taker on the basis of these particular criteria so let's have a look at the last answer and that would be the end of the mock then my message would be that uh, the time is crucial and you don't have all all of your life uh spending in that social media span and you should move forward and uh, try to overcome this problem of yours okay thank you so much that is the end of the test um thank i will you. now evaluate your score and i will tell you your score okay that was the last question i asked him and i feel like he did exceptionally well to answer it as well um but the thing over here is dekhe maine inko bahut ek अलग अलग रेंज के क्वेश्चन पूछे हैं इफ यू आस्क मी डिड दिस पर्सन डू वेल इन द एग्जाम आई वुड से दिस पर्सन डिड रियली वेल इन देयर स्पीकिंग एग्जाम द नंबर वन रीजन इज दैट ही रिमेन फ्लुएंट ही डिड नॉट स्टॉप वाइल स्पीकिंग दैट इज अ वेरी गुड एंड अ वेरी पॉजिटिव थिंग द सेकेंड थिंग इज दैट ऑल दो ही वॉज शॉर्ट ऑन वकेबुलरी ही वॉज नेवर शॉर्ट ऑन आइडियाज आइडियाज इनके पास हमेशा से थे इन द इंटायर टेस्ट द थर्ड थिंग इज दैट ही वॉज कॉन्फिडेंट इन वट ही वॉज सेंग ही न्यू वट ही वॉज सेंग जहाँ पर इनको लगा कि इनको अब हेल्प लेने की ज़रूरत है इनको पूछने की ज़रूरत है कि इसका क्या मतलब है वट इज़ द मीनिंग ऑफ दिस वट इज़ द पॉसिबल इंटरप्रटेशन ऑफ दिस इंटरप्रिटेशन या सो ही हैज़ आस्क दैट क्वेश्चन इन्होंने वो सवाल किए हैं वहाँ पे द सेम टिप आई वुड गिव टू ऑल ऑफ यू हु आर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो राइट नाउ सिंस आई एम कमिंग टूवर्ड्स द कंक्लूजन ऑल ऑफ यू हु आर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो इट इज़ एब्सोल्यूटली एंड you know um, definitely it's necessary for you to ask when you don't understand while in the class while in the test as well and if there is something that you haven't understood even after watching this video you can feel free to visit us at gsl i8 markers islamabad we are here to guide you and you can ask us on our youtube page as well uh, we offer courses in ielts pte language cert and pretty much everything okay so i promise you that your uh, your money and your time would not be wasted thank you so much for uh, watching this video I hope to see many questions after this and many queries which will be inshallah answered positively have a very nice day peace out from my side this is Muhammad Ibrahim Hassan from GSL I8 Markaz Islamabad Allah Hafiz